So when I talk to clients about collector trauma, that trauma, that sort of they don't quite connect to that the way we do. But when I call it social despair, do you have any social despair? They're going, oh my God, do I ever. So that's just a user-friendly way to talk about it. And this is the current. We know the historicals there, the current stuff, mass shootings, police on black males, terrorism, refugee crisis. So I knew for the last few years that I had to bring it into my office. I had to find a way to talk about what was happening in the world because it was affecting me and I knew it must be affecting my clients. And I grew up in a generation where you never bring in anything that you, it's called your agenda. So you don't ever bring in your agenda, even if you think it's gonna help them, it's your agenda. You always keep the, the consulting room apart from the world. And I knew that was not right. So I'm gonna mention one of, one of, our, one of the pivotal events in the culture a couple years ago here. The morning, the Sunday morning, I woke up and I heard about the Orlando massacre. It was a summertime, I think it was June. I woke up, I was home alone that morning. I turned my computer on and I wept, as many of us did. I wept and I wept. So many things had already been happening. So many shooting of black men, so much the refugee, the immigration, the election, uh, swirl was already happening. There was so much that it was feeling like it was tearing at the connections that bind us together. That one just cracked me open and I, I sat there weeping at my kitchen table. I said, I have to bring this into my office. I know at least half my clients are feeling like I am and I don't know how to do it, but I have to do it. And that day I made a vow that I have to be willing to become uncomfortable because I know something is there that I'm not trained to do. So that next week, I, that day I wrote a letter and, and on the, the, um, the materials, the handouts that you can download, I've got copies of the letters I wrote, I, I've got ideas that you can work with but that Monday morning, I put a letter that said, hey, I'm aware this is going on. It's affected me. Please let me know if it affects you. By Wednesday, the people who came in late that weren't looking at the letter, I was asking them. I just felt more and more emboldened because it was affecting just about everybody I asked. Certain clients I didn't ask because certainly they're not in a place to be asking about that. And I